I'm going to tell you about some of my research uh, related to conversational turn, socioeconomic status, and brain development in childhood. I'm going to start with the problem and work our way backwards. So socioeconomic status, or SES, is a strong predictor of a variety of academic and cognitive measures. And the quote unquote achievement gap um, refers to the persistent disparities in educational performance between higher and lower uh, SES students. So for example, if you look at this chart here on the left, um, uh, this is the national gap in fourth grade reading scores, um, which you can see has been pretty consistently large over the last 15 years. Unfortunately, we, we haven't made a ton of progress on that specific gap. Um, but I want to draw your attention also to the fact that the effect of SES on cognition is not uniform. So SES has a disproportionately strong effect on language and literacy. So in this chart, you can see that the gap between higher and lower SES students is largest in language skills that are all the way to the left over and above a variety of other nonverbal domains. And part of my research program is to try and understand why, what factors contribute to these disparities and how do these mechanisms work? The 30 million word gap. So parents and higher SES families um, uh, from Betty Hart and Todd's Risley famous study, they showed striking differences in children's language experiences across different socioeconomic backgrounds. And they found that children living in poverty heard fewer than a third of the words per hour that were heard by children from wealthier families. And when you accumulate this over the first four years of life, you um, get that gap um, of over 30 million words before children enter school. So that's represented by that blue arrow there. Um, and they have others, uh, if you bring up the next picture, so they have others have found this gap in input gave rise to a widening gap in children's language skills. So the um, gap in children's early language experience is potentially one factor that contributes to the achievement gaps we see um, at school age and later on. My research is related to how this relationship occurs. How does early language experience relate to children's later um, language skills? Um, so uh, here's a diagram of how socioeconomic status supposedly impacts children's language environments. So um, which in turn, these impact children's language and reading abilities. But anytime we see an environmental effect on behavior like this, we must assume that there is a neural mechanism. So in other words, the environment changes part of the brain and that neural change is what affects children's cognition. And there's growing evidence uh, that SES is related to brain structure. So that's that indirect um, relationship from SES to brain structure and function. But up until this project, um, there was no evidence directly linking uh, children's language environments, so that next box, to their neuroanatomy or neurophysiology. And to me, that's the really important piece, um, because while it's incredibly difficult to change someone's SES, um, it's a little more feasible to uh, change a child's linguistic environment early on. And so that was my goal with this specific project, to better understand the neural mechanisms underlying how children's language exposure um, contributes to their language skills. 